First, we're going to head into kernelscan.org forward slash WCI doc. On the software prerequisites section, first we're going to download all of the kernel scan installers, including new ones, and the kernel scan web server installer. If you don't already have a SQL instance running, you need to download the SQL Server installer. After everything is downloaded, it is time to install. First, kernel scan setup, then the kernel scan web server and new ones, and finally, SQL server. After the installation is complete, it is time to create the database that Kernel Scan Enterprise will be using. We have to navigate to the script folder Open it Change the database name Run the script, and then we can check if the database was created. Now we are going to set the application configurations by launching kernel scan. The first step is to click on the Activate Licenses button, and then install all of the licenses that were sent to you. Then, on the Administration tab, click on the Program Settings button. First, we are going to set the Administrator email settings so that the program can send out email notifications. Then, we are going to the Kernel Scan Web Server section where we can set up the Kernel Scan Enterprise settings. On SQL Instance, we are going to put in the instance where the Kernel Scan database was created at. On SQL Catalog, we are going to put in the database name. And finally, we set connect to enterprise to true. Now, when we restart the application, we have to log in using the kernel scan enterprise administrator credentials. They are username admin and password 12345. If everything is working okay, you should see a login to enterprise version dialog. Finally, you can get started by installing the sample jobs.